Okay, so I wanted to get into the pivot tables. I know a lot of people are asking about pivot tables and um, I love pivot tables, but be just before we get into that, I do want to show you a few of my favorite Google Sheets Excel functions. Um, so if you guys have any favorites, I want to show you these four um, that are up there. And if you guys have any favorite functions in Excel or um, Sheets, feel free to throw them in there and maybe in the chat and maybe let us know what they do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump over and show you these, get these, how these work um, in case you've never used them. Um, so I'm over in the spreadsheet now and this is the same data set I talked about last time if you guys were here for that. I've got um, country um, and I have a hundred and, let me see how many countries I have. And just highlight the whole thing 191 countries and then the gross domestic product per person um, and that's normalized by purchasing power in these countries so um, anyway so there's there's and then we've categorized them into very low income countries essentially medium income countries and high income wealthy countries so if you go down here you'll see i've got categorized low medium and high um, and then we had sort of our hypothesis, which was looking at CO2 emis emissions in tons per person. And um, the, the hypothesis was kind of, well, do wealthier nations on average um, release more CO2? And of course, there is a positive relationship there, but we can actually test it, right, with a p-value, and we can also um, show the magnitude of that effect and how it works. So, um, so the first thing, remove duplicates. So say you had this data set and you just um, wanted to see how many categories there were. You could just copy this, this column here and move it over to a new spot and then go to data and down here is remove duplicates. And when you click that, it, gives, it asks if your data has a header row, it actually does. And then I say remove duplicates, and it says 188 duplicate rows found and removed, three unique rows remain. So I say okay, and now I can see, okay, there's three categories there. And this is really useful if like, maybe you have names or you have, you just have a mass of 10,000 rows of data, and you're like, I just need to get a grip on what the data is, okay? Or the other thing that can sometimes happen is, you might have mixed in some data that's not properly formatted. So what I just did on this second low entry is I put a, a space right after the W, okay? And then I hit enter. And you can see that every other entry for low doesn't have that extra space. So if you go now and you copy and paste, and we do uh, remove duplicates again. You'll see now there's now there's four unique rows, and you'll look. You might look at this and be like, "Wait, why are there two low?" Um, and the answer is that one of those lows is a typo, right? That has that extra space. Um, so that's, that's why you wanna do data checking because if you're calculating an average on low, the, group, the low income countries, right? Um, you don't wanna miss some data because there was an extra space before or after the data. So that brings me to the next fancy um, function, which is you can highlight this entire category here and you can go to data trim white space down here at the bottom. It says trim white space. And that's gonna remove, automatically remove any errant spaces before or after um, the text. So I say trim white space and it just trimmed it for one. But sometimes you'll find data that has many of these just based on how the data entry was, was uh, put in. So trim white space um, is useful. Remove duplicates is useful. Um, find and replace, of course. 
Um, you could have also fixed those same issues by doing control F. Um, and you go, move this down. When you click here, you can, the little three dots, it opens replace. So say you had um, low and you knew that there was a typo with that extra space and you said replace with low and then you do replace all. And it would have done the same thing, okay? Um, can also be useful, like say you decide eventually, I don't like the term low, I wanna go with, um, I wanna just say lower income country or something or LIC or something. So you could just replace them all um, without having to manually go in there and, and, and replace each one. Okay. Um, final one is concatenate. It doesn't really, um, you know, I'm not sure what the best example is, but I just think it's cool, which is if you have like first name, last name, and there's my name, and you want to join those two, you can just do equals concatenate, and you choose the first one, make a comma, second one, close it out, and there you have the full name, um, and you could do that if you had other names, Jaren, and we just now drag this down and it's gonna just give us all of those names. If you want a space between them, you would just put a parentheses, a space, and a parentheses, another comma, hit enter, and now you have first and last name with a space in it. So just a useful little, little uh, thing that I, I tend to use every now and then. Um, so, uh, Jaron, are there any chats we need to get into? There's one question from Piper. What about to divide a first and last name? So if they're together, is there a formula? Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. Um, Okay, so let's do, um, do your name, Jaron, again. So you can do split text to columns right here. Okay, so now this is gonna, so Google Sheets is saying detect automatically. So let's just see if it gets it right. Um, whoops. Uh, maybe we'll say space. There we go. <laughs> For some reason. Okay, and there it did it. Okay, so so that's um, data, um, split text to columns. And if you have a space there or you have a comma or you have um, a tab or whatever, you can use that to split them. And um, the only thing you need to worry about is uh, it will replace the data. Like if you had data in column K, it will replace that data. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, I think it'll give you a warning if it's going that way. Okay. Um, so let's see. So those are, those are the uh, functions and